In this video, guys, we're going to look at how tagging your trades dramatically improves your performance. Stay tuned. Hey, traders and investors, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so tagging is the art, or not the art, is the actual process of writing down your setups and strategies, then using that as a marker for each trade you do, i.e. you take a first pullback trade, that gets tagged as number one. You take a mean reversion trade strategy that's got this, this, and this, you tag it as number two. In other words, you create all your different trading strategies. Let's say you've got five, now you have five tags. Each trade that you take needs to be tagged with one of those five things. You can't go outside of it and it needs to be tagged with those strategies only. What are the benefits of doing that? Let's have a look. Number one, it forces you to think a through a trade first. This is the biggest. This is a good one. If you're over trading, this might be a good thing to try. Get your strategies in order, label them as tags, one, two, three, four, five, whatever it may be, A, B, C, D, F, whatever it may be. Then what you do is in the heat of the moment when you're trading, swing trading, day trading, doesn't matter. You have to think, where does this trade fit in? Am I just trading this because I think it's a good trade? Is it half-hearted between two strategies? In which case, should I even be taking it? Does it fit with the criteria of strategy three or four? Does it even fit with the criteria at all? Ah, if it's perfectly with one, this one, great. And it's an obvious number one strategy, take it, bang. You mark it down after the fact with a one. It stops you from taking those trades that you know you shouldn't be taking, right? You know they don't fit in with your criteria. You've already decided that these are the strategies you're gonna take. It doesn't fit it, so you don't take it. However, if you weren't tagging, it would just be drifted in there with the portfolio, with the, sorry, with the account and the blotter. You wouldn't even know where it was. You would have no accountability for it. You wouldn't know whether it was good or bad. So tagging, tagging, tagging. Okay, now one devil's advocate here, you could possibly have a tag, an X tag, which is like, hey, I took this from the seat of my pants. It didn't fit in. At least you're categorizing it. And then see if those seat of the pant trades are actually working out for you or not. If they are, maybe you can investigate why they are and then create a strategy, a formal strategy from that. If they're not, you know you've got proof they're not working, you can discard them. Let's get on to number two. It keeps emotions under control. It allows you to think a little bit more clearly. It allows you to think, hey, you know what? This is just part of a game. It's just part of the bigger game here. One little trade is not gonna affect anything. It's part of a bigger structure that I've got. I don't need to be caught up in whether this is gonna be a winner or a loser. It's being tagged and I've done multiple trades under this. Let's assess what happens after. I can be a bit more calmer about it. I can be a bit more logical, a bit more thoughtful and less emotional when I'm placing the order. Okay, number three, you can more easily review, tweak and adjust. The biggest logical kind of operational reason for doing this is that you see if you if you tag them manually, you can put them in Excel, whatever you can filter, you can say, hey, every single trade with a number two tag gave me this much PL, everyone with a three tag gave me this much PL. You can categorize it and you can say, hey, you know what? All my number fours pretty much gave me negative PL or the neg a, a total negative PL for my number fours. Do I need to now drill down into that strategy, pull that strategy out, have a look at the reasons, analyze that without having to analyze everything? Now you can just analyze your weakest spots or your strengths and how to kind of improve on your strengths and, and take away your weaknesses. You don't have to take away your weaknesses, but kind of remove them a little bit more from the strategy. That's the important thing, guys. It allows you to review easier. It allows you to tweak your strategy and allows you to adjust as well. All right, number four, it opens the door to testing theories. What you can do is you can say, hey, I've got these five strategies that I do, these three strategies that I do. I've got an idea for buying this, 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 and this. Okay, create an outline strategy for it. Give it a tag, number seven, whatever it may be, 7T if you're testing. It doesn't matter about the nomenclature, does it? It's just a case of tagging it. Then when you take that trade, you can see over time, over the quarter, over the month, whatever it may be, how many of those trades you took, what was the performance of those trades? Is it good? Do I need to put more kind of resources into that in terms of emotional capital and actual financial capital, or do I need to discard it and move on? It allows you to test stuff and just without getting again lost in the whole mix of your trading blotter, which is a mix of all kinds of stuff, it allows you to do different ways of as you approach things in different ways 
ways. Right, number five, it creates accountability. When you know that you have to tag something, when you know that you are going to be reviewing this, you do not want to be going through saying, there's no tag on that, there's no tag on that. Oh, that's a massive loser, there's no tag on that. It means that you structured it means that it's part of the process. It means that you have now a map, a roadmap to where you wanna be. You create your trading strategies, you build your plan, you label those, you operate your trades, you review your trades, you add a tag with them. Then you can assess. Again, very easy to review, tweak, and adjust. It keeps you accountable. If you find yourself just trading all over everywhere, wondering what's going on, this might be a good way to start. And also, and final thing, guys, setups and strategies. You might have setups within different strategies because there's different filters, different tweaks, different adjustments. So these can be tagged individually as well. So now you can know and learn and improve and try and reduce the stuff that's not working for you and increase the stuff that's working for you. Improve and put more effort into the stuff that's working. That will give you a much bigger boost in your trading success. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so for more videos from me and others on this channel. And let me know how you got with this tagging. It's a good idea and I think it will help you out a lot. Take care, bye-bye.